What's up guys, it's Living Survival and today we're going to take a look at the Snug Pack Enhanced Patrol Poncho. So stick with me. So it is actually starting to rain out here just a little bit and uh, today I got the Snug Pack Enhanced Patrol Poncho. Now a lot of you guys will carry a poncho, like a survival poncho, in your bug out bags or your get home bags and generally they're the real cheap disposable kind. If you've ever had to wear one of those you know that it, you know, it, it does a pretty poor job of keeping the, the moisture off you easy to rip and things like that. So we're going to look at a little nicer option here from Snug Pack. So the Snug Pack comes with a nice stuff sack here as you can see and uh, comes in olive color or uh, black. I believe it weighs right around the 14 ounce mark. So definitely uh, not very heavy and uh, not very big to throw in your kit. And as you can see here, we'll just unfold it. Now it just slips over the head. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the bottom here. It is 100% waterproof. So not just water resistant, it's actually 100% waterproof. Go ahead and slip our arms through. It is one size fits all. Go ahead and slip our head through here. So you can see at the front here it does have a zip and that zips up. It also has drawstrings here with the uh, the nice toggle keepers. So a nice big hood. So it's actually quite comfortable for a poncho and uh, it's got elastic uh, at the wrist here. It's actually got a spot where you can stick your thumb through which is nice and that'll keep your sleeves pulled down. So that you could put gloves on over that if you were in cold weather or something but that is nice that it keeps your sleeves down keeps them from riding up on uh, whatever you have inside it's also got a pocket here in the front it's a velcro pocket and this is for like keeping a map or something something else that you wanted to keep waterproof so nice size pocket here in the front that is Velcro closure and then on the sides of the pocket on the front it has a place to slip your hands through. Again, if you had the uh, your thumbs through the wrist there, you had gloves on or if you didn't have gloves on, you could slip them in there just to keep them uh, close to your body and uh, keep them waterproof as well. So it does come pretty far down. <clears throat> comes down to about my knees, a little bit lower than my knees have a longer tail in the back and what that's for is if you wear this over your pack and I'm going to demonstrate that in a minute here the pack will actually rise up and so it gives you that extra length at the bottom to be able to cover your pack which is really nice so I'm gonna go ahead and slip this uh, bag on here and we're gonna go ahead and throw the poncho on over that see that it does cover the pack quite nicely and because of that added length in the bottom it does actually go all the way down to my knees all the way in the back as well so you could even get probably a larger pack in here as well so it works really well as not only a poncho but something that you can definitely throw on over your pack and keep all your equipment dry as well now this will also work as an emergency bivy not going to provide you much heat but it definitely would work to put over your sleeping bag or something like that, or a uh, similar situation to keep you nice and dry. Then when you're done, if your pack has elastic on it and this was all wet, you could definitely just throw it in the elastic there. And that would allow it to not get the contents of your pack wet. If it was relatively dry, you could just grab the stuff sack and throw it right back into the sub sack.
and you're good to go. Another reason why it's really nice to have clips on your pack is if this was all wet and you didn't want to put it in your pack, you could definitely just slip it onto a carabiner or something like that on your pack. And carry it that way as well. A great poncho, a little bit heavier duty than uh, just a disposable cheap one you could you could find for your packs. Definitely uh, not too big when you put it in the stuff sack to throw in your pack, and it's uh, very lightweight. So uh, I don't know about you, but when I'm in a downpour or wet conditions, I definitely want a poncho that uh, has a little bit of weight to it, has some sustenance to it. Um, I've tr definitely tried those uh, survival ponchos before. Uh, when I'm fishing, for example, it'll start to rain. I'll put one on and, you know, it, it rips easily and, uh, you know, they end up not protecting you very well, but I feel like this would protect me pretty well. It's starting to rain a little bit here and, and obviously I'm nice and dry. Snug Pack is a UK company and uh, they make lots of great products. I'm sure you've seen some of the great products that I've reviewed here on the channel from uh, hammocks to sleeping bags to tents, a uh, lot of different uh, Snug Pack items that I've shown here on the channel. Again, they're a UK company, so if you live over there, you can definitely pick them up that way. Here in the States, we have Pro Force Equipment, and I'm gonna put their link below. They are the uh, United States distributor for Snug Pack, so you can look at all their products there for Snug Pack and a lot of other products that they uh, carry as well. And then you'll be able to find places online or local retailers where you can purchase Snug Pack here in the States. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and uh, leave me some comments below. And as always, guys, subscribe for more videos.